Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the mechanism of sensory adaptation. Sensory adaptation is a decrease in the perceived sensation of a stimulus in response to a stimulus that is continuously present. This happens because of reduction in the frequency of sensory response during a continuous stimulation. Here students, the adaptation is shown by all components of the sensory system. It is shown by the receptor cells, by the neurons and by the cells of central nervous system. This phenomena is of high significance because it allows the detection of new stimuli in the presence of an ongoing persistent stimulus. We shall take few examples of adaptation. First, adaptation to the touch stimuli. You know that our clothing also touches our skin. The stimulus of touch because of clothes is perceived, but our nervous system adapts to this stimulus quickly so that we are able to detect new touch stimuli even in the presence of this continuous or persistent stimulation of our clothes. This is a very high example of adaptation phenomena. Iske lava bhi kuch examples hain jo humare common uh, feelings mein aati hain. Isme sense of smell ki adaptation hai. For example, hum ek perfume lagate hain. Thodi hi der ke baad humara nervous system adapt kar jata hai aur hum usko feel nahi kar rahe hote. Lekin Stimulus to continuously present rehta hai aur wo jo humne perfume lagai hai wo lagi hui hoti hai. This is another example of adaptation to a continuous stimulation. Similarly, hot and cold water. Ye bhi ek aise stimuli, stimuli hai jin se humara system bohut jaldi adapt kar jata hai. Similarly, there is an adaptation for dim and bright light. Now we shall discuss the mechanism of adaptation. The sensory components of nervous system adapt through a variety of mechanisms at all levels of sensory transduction pathway. Most of these mechanisms take place at the receptor cell level while some also take place at the neuron and central nervous system level. We shall discuss the mechanisms of adaptation at receptor cell level. The first mechanism operates at the membrane of receptor cell when the mechanical properties of membrane act as a filter because the membrane cannot pass sustained stimuli. It can pass only transient stimuli. The second mechanism operates at the receptor protein level because the transducer molecules may run down or used up due to continuous stimulation. For example, visual pigments are bleached on exposure to continuous light. The third mechanism operates at the enzymatic level when enzyme cascade may be inhibited due to accumulation of a product. That is the negative feedback mechanism. The fourth mechanism in the receptor cell 
operates at the receptor channels because of accumulation of free calcium ions. When free calcium ions increase, they result in the closure of channels. As a result, more response is reduced. The fifth mechanism at the receptor level takes place at the spike initiating zone that becomes less sensitive. आप जानते हैं कि neurons में action potential generate होने के लिए की जो जगह है वो spike initiating zone है अगर ये हिस्सा less excitable हो जाता है तो action potential generate करने की capacity reduce हो जाती है Dear students, receptor cells के अलावा central nervous system के components भी adapt कर जाते हैं अगर receptor cells से मुसलसल सिग्नल्स चले भी जाएं सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम को तो सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम के सेल्स अडेप्ट करते हैं एंड दे स्टॉप रिस्पोंडिंग